turn from history to something very much alive. Have you ever been to the Riverbanks Zoo in South Carolina? It's one of the most successful zoos of its size in the country. The penguin and sea lion demonstrations are among the most popular attractions. Producer Russ Hunsinger has more in tonight's One Tank Trip. I'm just feeding a little lorikeet here. A couple, actually. Hi. We are at Riverbank Zoo and Garden, right here in the heart of Columbia, South Carolina, in the heart of the state. It's a 170-acre zoo and botanical garden. We are home to 2,000 animals um, representing species from around the world and 4,300 species of native and exotic plants. We also are home to uh, Grizzly Ridge, Otter Run. Of course, you have an opportunity to feed giraffes here at the zoo. You have an opportunity to feed lorikeets, we have kangaroos, we have wallabies, we have 300 types of birds here at the zoo. This is my favorite part so far. Good morning, Riverbanks guests, and welcome to Sea Lion Landing. Sea Lion Landing being one of uh, the most popular here at Riverbanks. So I have some fish here we're just going to toss out for the sea lions. This is Cape Lynn. This is part of their diet here at the zoo. They also get squid and herring. This is a net right here. I take care of the sea lions, the giraffes, the elephants, the taper, and the babarusa. So there's a lot of care that goes into that. Obviously, we have all the big animals, and they require a lot of food, a lot of training, a lot of cleaning. So that's the majority of our day here at the zoo. Everyone is excited to see the penguins, too. The kids typically wave through the glass and run along chasing the penguins that are swimming in the water too. Riverbanks offers a lot of backstage programs. One specifically is the penguins. And you actually can come behind the scenes in our penguin exhibit and see the birds up close and personal. Wildlife conservation is the core of our mission here at Riverbank Zoo and Garden. We're home to 2,000 animals from around the world, but nearly 40 of those are considered endangered or critically endangered. So they are facing some really bad threats in the wild. And so whatever we can do to bring guests in and to give them an opportunity to interact with animals, to experience wildlife, and then in turn do something positive for the planet. I hope when we leave here today, the kids have a better understanding of um, what they need to do to protect the planet that we've been given. There's more endangered species every day and we need to learn how to um, protect those animals. Well, it's great. Um, we love coming out to see the lions and all the animals, basically everything that we don't have here. Just getting that education and being able to read everything they have about them posted around. Just enjoying a day, enjoying the animals and learning new stuff. I like coming to the zoo because I have no pets and I like seeing the animals. My favorite animal here to see are probably the giraffes because we get to feed them and interact with them. Riverbanks is a fun place to visit. It's a great way for families and friends to spend time together, but it's also a great way to learn about nature, giving our guests an opportunity to experience animals up close. That's what we love to do. We love to see, uh, have a guest experience an animal for the first time because we know that if they develop a love for these animals, then they will de develop a love for caring for them, and that's really what it's all about. This is fantastic. I love these little guys. Thanks so much, Russ. Did you know the Riverbank Zoo attracts more than a million visitors each year? It's open every day except Thanksgiving and Christmas. Well, I hear 